So if you are a beginner and want to learn WordPress, you do not need to buy a hosting. You can just download WordPress and install on local computer. Here is how you can do that. So go to the website localwp.com and then click on this link download and then you need to choose your platform. Click on this drop down. If it is a Mac, choose Mac or Windows or Linux. I'll choose Windows because I have Windows computer. Then enter your name, last name, email and phone number and click on get it now and you will see the download will start. So once the download is complete, you can click on this file. I already downloaded this file so I'll click on this pre-downloaded file and then you will see this message local setup. You can choose your computer user from here. So normally I'll choose anyone who uses this computer and then click next and then choose install location. You can leave it default and then click on install and you will see this message please wait while local is being installed. It's going to take some time so be patient. You will see it's going to install some libraries on your computer which are required to have local WordPress on your computer or depending on Mac it's going to require some libraries on Mac too. So make sure you let it do the work and let it install all the required libraries to have WordPress on your local computer. So while it is installing if you're new to the channel don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel that really makes me happy and I know you guys are getting value out of this informational videos. And you can see here completing local setup local has been installed on your computer that's it it was really easy so now we keep this option check run local and then click on finish and then you'll see this pop up to accept terms and condition just click here i have read and agree to local terms of services and then click agree if you do not see this pop up what you can do just press the windows key and then search here local and then you'll see the first app local you can just click here and launch it from here okay so you'll see the screen now when local is running it is local WordPress on your computer. So you need to create an account. So create a free account and then it will ask you if they can collect the error reports. You can turn this on to help the company to understand the errors on your computer. Turn on usage reporting. I will say no thanks. And then this is done. You can maximize this and then you can see everything is here. So what you need to do is click on create a new site and then choose create a new site and click on continue and then give it a name new local site and then click on continue. And they'll ask you what environment you want. You can leave everything default, then click on continue. Just to give information, right now, if you choose it preferred, it will run on PHP 8 and web server will be Nginx and MySQL version will be 8.0.16. And then click on continue. Then you need to choose WordPress username, which will help you to log in inside WordPress admin panel. So I'll say Abhishek and then choose your password. Then enter your email and click on add site. If you see this message with Windows Defender Firewall app, so just click on allow access and you can see the new local site which is a WordPress installation is going to install on your local computer. If you're using antivirus, your antivirus can also ask you for some permission. So always allow the access to this app. Okay, so you can see the WordPress install on our local computer. Now if you want to see this website, what you need to do is click here on open site and you can see this is your fresh WordPress installation. And if you want to log into WordPress admin panel, click on WP admin. Then enter your username and password you chosen during the installation process and then click on login. Now you can see you are inside your WordPress admin panel and you can see this is installed on your local computer. You do not need to buy hosting to learn WordPress. Just install your local computer and start learning WordPress. So now you have installed WordPress on your computer. Check out this video on screen to learn about how to use WordPress. And if you want to know what essential plugins you should use on WordPress, check out this other video on screen. And like always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll really appreciate that.